You don't know how to use that thing anyway. Get out of here. That favoritism shirt you got on. Youth, we need you lined up in the shoot. Youth, first youth group. It's going to be the Greens. Greens. There's only three, y'all. Shouldn't be too tough. We need the 10 on the pole, the 4P and the 11. 11 outside front row. Youth, we will uh, stop you in turn three. Jamie's going to stop you in turn three. We're going to send them from there. We're going to send them from turn three for the start on the youth. All right, youth, where you at? Woody Powell, let's go. This is the fast youth. This is the green youth, the 11. She should already be over there. She's there. Jerry Book over here cutting up some yellow meat, some good yellow meat watermelon. Really? Yellow meat watermelon. I tell you what, I would tell you yellow meat watermelon's good, but I hate watermelon no matter what color it is. So <laughs> it don't matter to me. It's nasty. I can't even chew the gum. <laughs> it jacks me up. I'm allergic to it. That's what I tell people. I really ain't, but it sounds good. Because most people look at me like I'm some kind of psychopath and I don't like watermelon. They think, man, you're like Eddie Ross. Weird. Sorry, Eddie. How we looking? Ken Busterbomb, our lineup guy tonight. How we looking? There comes the 10 of Wesley Howes. As he runs into the 4P of Woody Powell in the shoot, man, these kids are ready to go. They're going to wreck each other's stuff in the shoot. Lawrence is excited about that. He loves that. I don't know. Are we going to stop him in turn three or are we going to let him go one? Better stop him. Thank you, Tasha. Keep him hydrated. I don't want him passing out up there. All right, on the pole tonight in the 10 is going to be Wesley Howes outside. Ava Montemayor in the 11 and the 4P of Woody Powell. Woody Powell pretty much dominated this deal lately. He has been winning everything in that 4P, so keep an eye on him. Here we go. We got a green flag. We are off. Finally, Thursday night thunder underway. We don't have no power wheels, so we're going to race some carts. Let's go. Wesley Howes is going to lead lap number one. Right on his back bumper is going to be Woody Powell. Third is going to go to Ava Montemayor. Oh, Wesley. Wesley rolling the bottom and uh, Woody trying the top. Keep an eye on this deal. This might get interesting before it's done. Oh, Woody Powell with a little bumper there to the 10. Hey, I'm right here. I'm on your bumper. You better go, man. All right, youth, youth green. All right, excuse me, youth red. Youth red, you should be in the lineup. Youth red, you should be in the lineup. 
Youth Red, you should be in the lineup. We're halfway through the Youth Green. We need uh, Heart of Flax on the pole outside. Rahi, the 95. Bo, let's go. Outside the 14. Cole, let's go. The 63B, the 101, and the 13. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's get in the lineup. House continues to lead here in the 10. Wesley, he's been a little slump lately, so uh, he's looking for a few checker flags. This is his chance here. He got the two to go from Eddie Ross that last time. Here he comes with the white flag. As Woody Powell just wearing the bumper out, Eddie or Woody goes real high, coming down into one, going to allow Wesley to pick up the win here. Oh, no. Woody goes off, does not finish the race. The 11's going to pick up second. Ava Montemayor second, and Woody Powell will be third. I think he won it third. Starts inside row number two. It's all mental. It's mental, y'all. That was the plan. If I get second, I got to start on the outside. I want to be inside row two. It works on the big track. It ought to work on this track, too. Here we go. Wesley Howes picking up the win tonight in the 10 cart for our youth. Green, youth green. Okay, so if you're wondering green or red, what the hell's going on with the green and red, it's not how the kid feels when they're out there in the cart. That's the restrictor plate inside the motor, okay? So we, we restricted the motor between the carburetor and the motor's got a little restrictor plate, and the color means how much gas they get. Gas and air. Go ahead, Wesley. You don't get a trophy. He's like, man, can I get a trophy too for a heat race? You know, Wesley, he's always looking for a little something extra. Hey, Justin, how's that yellow meat watermelon? Hey, listen, Cameron. How's that watermelon? No? No winner? It's never good, I promise. It's never good. I hate that stuff. Welcome to the jungle. Here we go. This is the jungle. I promise this is the jungle right here coming out. <laughs> These kids. Woo! Here we go. On the pole is going to be Vasily Hardaflax in the 7NY outside. In the 25R is going to be Jackson Rahi inside. Bo Jackson in the 95 outside him in the 14. It's going to be Cole Stafford inside row number three, the 63B. Bryson Sanchez outside him in the 101, making his first appearance ever. This is going to be Braddix Whitmire. He's won a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, Power Wheels races. First race for Braddocks. Hell yeah, let's get it done, Braddocks. And the 13 of Easton, Jackson, one of our uh, regular youngsters that's getting a feel for it. He's one of the little ones. So we got some three, four-year-olds here, five, six-year-olds. So it should be good. We'll move that 13 up to the outside, row number three. I want to say the last time out that... Budweiser number 95 Barry Cart of uh, Bo Jackson won. It's been a while, so don't get me lying too much, but Bo Jackson uh, been running up front here. Heart of Flax ran in the upper class. Now he's down in the lower class. Uh, just a learning opportunity, so it, it's all about learning. They all got same restrictor plates. That's the red. That's why we call them youth red. Rahi on the outside here. I know he picked up a top three last time out here. The 63 of Sanchez, I tell you what, this kid has got it figured out. Super fast, super good. We need to roll them. We need to roll them. They got to roll. Eddie, tell them, tell, tell Jamie here to make them roll. There we go. That'll work. We got them rolling. Keep an eye on that 63 of Sanchez. He is, uh, he's an animal, that boy. He goes. He won the last feature. Both nights features up at Texana, and Cole in that 14 finished second both nights. Uh, Stafford, so keep an eye on them. Vasily Hardaflax out front. Bo Jackson moving up into second. Rahi third, but Sanchez right there in fourth. He's working that high line, trying to figure out a way by. Cole Stafford right there with him. Heart of Flax with a big lead. Bo Jackson second. Sanchez is going to have to figure out a way around, and this is what I like about the class, okay? And, and what we're doing is 
and I told his dad this from day one. Man, Bryson is fast. Sanchez is fast in that 63. He can fly, but he struggles making a pass. He's got to be able to pass, and that's what he's learning right now. How do I get around that cart and go to the front? And that's what we want. Check out. Oh, Cole Stafford drives it in there, goes for the pass. He's going to keep it rolling. That was awesome. He went for it. Here comes Sanchez up to third. Going to make the pass on Rahi. The 63 up to third now. Stafford with a great move. Dad's got to be proud. Give him a hell yeah on that one. As he just drove it in there on the bottom, saw both of them, went below them both, and it was a little more. He ran out of talent. I tell you what, he's not the first one to run out of talent out here or in a big car. It's pretty normal. We got the white flag out right here for the 7NY. Vasily Hardaflax going to pick up the checker flag. Your winner, Vasily Hardaflax in the old steakhouse, number 7NY. Second going to the 95. Bo Jackson third going to bring home Bryson Sanchez in the 63. I told you all keep an eye on that kid. And Rahi right there in fourth. Some great racing out of our youngsters. We're talking three to seven-year-olds. Really good group. That should have given us time to line up our juniors on the pole. It's going to be the 10J. James Howells outside him in the 101 is going to be Trip Whitmire. Inside row number two in the four is going to be Woody Powell. And outside him in the four P, excuse me, the four is going to be Jude Algar. Outside him will be the four P of Woody Powell. All right, Algar in the four, the 4P on the outside. No, 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 no. We're not ready. Slow her down, boys. Slow her down, man. He, this group right here is tough. This is about as good a group of juniors as you're going to find. Let me tell you something else about this group. My personal opinion, all these drivers will be next level. They're not messing around. This is next level drivers. They're going to be up there. Now, I'm not talking seniors. I'm talking big car racing, big time racing. It's just a matter of time. Trip Whitmire out front continues to dominate the junior class right now. 101 has been on fire. 10J of James Howe second. Woody Powell and then the four. Four of uh, Algar, who's normally one of our top three easy. He's uh, rolling around the back here. I'm not sure what's going on with uh, Jude. He's a pretty tough competitor right there. Running mini sprints, running uh, carts. He runs a little bit of everything. He's going to be the next level, I'm telling y'all. Here he comes to challenge Woody Powell for third. You want to get to at least third. Uh, third position is going to give you that better starting spot. Woody doing a great job in that 4P. Rolling this thing around the high side. Never moves down. Dad's over in turn number two going, move down, move down. Two to go, Trip Whitmire, the 101. So far, that's more wheel, tire to race surface contact than his dad Tanner had all last weekend. Just saying. Your winner, Trip Whitmire, the 101. Seconds going to go to Howes. James Howes in the 10J, then the 4P, Woody Powell, and Jude Algar. Not sure what's going on with Jude, but he's uh, going to go figure it out. That's a junior division. I tell you what, that's a tough group. Next up, seniors, seniors. On the pole, the 37P. Rebecca Van Blarkham on the pole. Outside front row is going to be Parker Titsman. Inside row number two, the six of Trinity Hill. Outside in the 26, Maddox Jennings. Inside row number three, the 87 ends going to be Nathan Titsman. And outside in the 13P, Hunter Porter. Here we go. Green flag. Let's go. Big move by Maddox Jennings here. Oh, man, he went from outside row two down to the inside. Thought he was going to make the pass to the lead right off the bat, but Parker Titsman takes the lead. Parker Titsman rolling this deal out front. 
This is a youngster just moved up. I tell you what, him and the 26. Here comes the 26. Go for a slide jump. No, he holds it down. Great job. Maddox Jennings going to take the lead here. Oh, he's going to slide up and open up the door on the bottom. Here comes Titsman back to the bottom. We're going to try to make the pass. Going to get it done down the back straight away. Here we go side by side into turn three. Look out, Parker Titsman going to hold the spot. Oh, Jennings is right there. What a race. Side by side. Here we go down the back straight away. Here comes Jennings on the outside. He's getting it figured out with halfway. Jennings, your leader. The six of Trinity Hills right there in third. Here comes Hunter Porter in the 13P, but Jennings continues to lead. Maddox on a roll here. Say what's better than Kyle Larson last night. Maddox Jennings getting it done. Parker Titsman right there behind him. Trinity Hill, Hunter Porter trying everything he can. Nathan Titsman next, coming up on the two to go, two to go. White flag, Maddox Jennings. This is gonna set Jennings up on the pole. I don't know that he's won a feature yet here at L87, but he getting it done tonight, picking up the heat race win. How about Maddox Jennings in the 26? Gets it done, Maddox Jennings. Parker Titsman coming in second, Trinity Hill third, Hunter Porter, Nathan Titsman, your top five. What a race. That was good stuff right there. I guarantee it. So far, Wesley's the only one to show up, take a checker flag on a heat race. I like that. Get it anytime you can, man. Get your, get your checker flag laps anytime you can, folks. Cage Speck coming out next. Cage Speck. Uh, 72, Rusty Ballard, Rusty Ballard. This is a good dude. This guy right here, he can hook you up with some really fine crafted, handcrafted stuff. The so here we go. The 15 is Andy Van Blarkham. Jumps out to a quick lead. And the 71, Letitia Rolando. Out of the Rolando Racing Stables. Letitia, mama getting it done. Spec motors, same basic, same carts as the Predators or anybody else. They put a cage on them and run a spec motor, so it's pretty clean, pretty neat little deal here. More carts we could possibly get into this deal, and we have a great set of rules that we tech to. This is a class to be if you're an adult, or we even allow some kids that if they're at that weight and, and age that they can really handle competitive. Predators, we need predators. Where's are my predators? Predators are up next. Heat one for the predators. You should be in the shoot. Heat one for the predators in the shoot. Justin Delgado, you're on the pole for the first heat. We need you in the shoot. 77A outside front row there. So, uh, y'all, we need y'all in the shoot. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Winner's going to go to Andy Van Blarkham. Follow that up with uh, Latisha Rolando and then Rusty Ballard, your top three. Wait, you're only three. This is a growing class. It's really a good class. It's going to turn out to be the uh, the stable at this deal at some point. I promise. So you're running belts, cages, safety. It works good. And then you got a spec motor that ain't going to cost you thousands of dollars to try to race. And it's way, way more motor than what you're running on the uh, stock predator division. So good stuff. All right, Predators, you're up. Predators, we're waiting on you. We're waiting on the Predators. Hey, Colin Carroll, is your stuff broke? Well, why are you here? Why are you in your cart? You're in the third heat? Yeah, you're in the second heat. We're waiting on you. Oh, we are. I promise we're waiting on Colin Carroll.
You want two to go, you're going to wave at them and tell them they're ignorant. What? Oh, waiting on 27 Delgado. Where's the Delgado ride? Well, let's do some Del Get There. Just saying. I mean, like, Del Obama knows. Justin Delgado on the 27, on the pole. Outside the 77A, Adon Ayala Jr. inside row number two, the 72N. Going to be Noah Van Blarkham outside him in the 45S. Is going to be Cameron Starry. Cameron Starry, the young sh hot shoe coming out there in the 45S. The 171 tonight is Ramsey Villarreal. Here we go. The 6K. Kevin Hill. Kevin Hill in the 6K. And the 87 in this one, our boy, little G, Gilbert Pettis. Already up to third. How about a little G on the roll here? You got to love that. Out front, though, the 77A, Ayala. The 45 of Starry second. Pettis third. So check it out. This is a very affordable class, right? You get you a cart. You get you a Harbor Freight style motor. That's all you need. You don't have to spend huge money on a motor to go be competitive in this. A Harbor Freight style motor, you do a little work to and understanding to be a competitor. And then you come out here and you have fun. And how much work you put into your effort is where you're going to finish. And there's a bunch of great drivers like Cameron Starry and Gilbert Pettis who race big carts all the time. They're out here super competitive, super great racing. Oh, Pettis on the inside. Pushes Starry up just a touch. Starry going to drop back under. Here he goes. Going to make the pass back. Oh, yeah, that's what we're talking about. That's that's what we come here for is the great race. And look at the 45-87 here. It's a great race. A couple of young guns, hot shoes, really great racers at a huge level. Right? They're running tracks all over Texas. They win anywhere. They can compete anywhere in their levels, E-Mods, factory stocks. But here they are racing carts and having fun doing it. So you get that racing fix on a Thursday night by coming out here and doing what we're doing, folks. So uh, it's all about building that that program and coming and having a good time on the pole. And heat number two is going to be the 0-0. Zero, zero. Jimbo Van Blarkham. Okay, Jimbo's only got one arm and one leg. No, he's got both, but he only knows how to use one, I think. Uh, I call him eight wheels are better than four Jimbo, but that's just me. On the outside, the number five, Abel Solis. He's got to worry about that stuff. The 121 of Colin, Carol. Colin, I'm going to be late, Carol. On the inside of row number two, the 2K of Kyle Van Blarkham. Outside row two, inside row number three, the 15 is John Hardiflax. Hardiflax won a lot of races on the inside of row number three. He's one of our good ones here. They're all good, but Hardiflax has done a good job. The 71 of Clayton Carter Sr. outside row three and bringing up the rear here in the 14 is going to be the old 14. Joseph Montemayor, Joseph Montemayor bringing up the rear here in the 14. Here we go. The 121 of Colin Carroll doing his normal. I'll pull it in the infield and they'll think I'm fast. Move. It's a little different. I've never seen anybody really win that way, but it's it's cute. Oh, Van Blarkham out front here. Jimbo Van Blarkham leads. Here comes Abel Solis to the inside. He's going to use eight wheels instead of four. This is these guys. They they like eight instead of four. Kyle Van Blarkham way loose, getting in there in that 2K. John Hartflax right behind him. Here we go, Jimbo with uh, inside of Abel. 
There's a lot of Jim and Abel. It's like I'm reading the Bible over here. Oh, Abel Solis to the lead that time as Jimbo Van Blarkham skates up off the planet. See ya. Solis going to drive this thing right here at halfway. Your winner, your leader, excuse me. He might be the winner too, I tell you what. Now Jimbo Van Blarkham going to hold up his son, Kyle Van Blarkham. That's what it's called. Hey, I don't care if you're my son or not. You're, you're behind me. I don't really care. I haven't seen him wreck father and son. Oh, yes, Kyle Van Markham goes for the dad move. Eight wheels are better than four. It was huge. It was awesome. I love it. That's pretty cool. Oh, the 77 DQ'd for weight. Look out. Our winner of our last race. That's going to move Cameron Starry into a really good position for the feature. Hey, you got to make weight. Oh, we got a caution. We got, we got problems out of turn number four. Problems, problems, problems. He's going to climb out of that car. He's, he's waving like uh, he broke a crankshaft. Was that solo? Yeah. Five, your leader, 2K, Kyle Van Blarkham. Second, zero, zero, Jimbo, eight or better than four, Van Blarkham, third. I liked it because... Uh, the son used this dad strategy on him down in turn one and two. Well, hell, I'll use eight two, dad. Bam! <laughs> See ya! All right, set us up for a green white checker. See if Kyle Van Blarkham has anything here for uh, Abel Solis. Solis out front. Coming up all the way from the valley to uh, compete every week. Jimbo Van Blarkham trying to double file behind the leader. Oh, big run here. Here we go. Kyle Van Blarkham gets a jump. Oh, they get together. Here comes Jimbo Van Blarkham. Both Van Blarkhams run the five right off the track. White flag, one lap left with his hand in the air. So just so you know, if you raise your right hand, it really don't help. Just means you don't have but one hand on the wheel. Just saying. After it's over is when you got to go use the front bumper. Oh, I didn't say that. I'm just kidding. Stop it. Stop it, y'all. Quit being like that, Jerry. Damn. You got to tell him, man, I don't appreciate you moving me. If you move me, don't move me off the track. <laughs> I hate watermelon, dude. You're scaring me with that crap. Oh, man, we got some really... Really nice watermelon over here. Don't be scared of it. I am, but not everybody is. I hate watermelon. It hates me. It gives me really bad gas. Not really. I've never ate enough to know. I'm just talking crap. 72H is going to be Hudson Maklicek. Hudson Maklicek outside Justin Hostad in the 45. Inside is going to be the 15P. Andy Van Blarkham. Outside is going to be Connor Rye. Connor Rye on the outside of row number two. The 77, he got DQ'd. Adon Ayala got DQ'd earlier. Well, the other driver, Ayala, is nasty fast. We'll see what he has here. Outside him is Clayton Carter, the parader in the 94. And outside is going to be Jake Rollins going around. Oh, yeah, that's awesome, Jake. Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's go. And the 15J, Jake Rollins. It happens, Jake. It happens. I tell you what, I've stepped on mine more than once, and I wasn't even racing. I was just walking. Here comes Hostad to the lead. Justin Hostad out front. Damn, Van Blurkham using up the wall. I tell you what, from here on out, if you hit the wall, you got to buy a gallon of white paint for Lawrence. That's the rule. That's the new rule. We got a little pink up here in the front. We ain't got no pinky. Here we go, Justin Hostad. Woo, Connor Rye rolling that 12. I tell you what, he's got it figured out. Where's that parader? Must have took it to the pit. Well, 
When you parade your ass to the pits, it ain't no good. Hofstadt, Rye, and the 72 here. I can't remember who was in the 72. I'm an ignorant dude. Hudson Maklachek. Hudson Maklachek. I knew he's up front. He had to be one of the Maklachek's. Other Marcus. Marcus will spin shit out. White flag. Justin Hustad. Hudson Maklachek. Oh, big problems for Connor Rye. Oh, Maklachek goes around on a turn two. It's a battle for who can finish second. Nobody wants it. Nobody. Oh, Rye with a flat tire, but the 691. Guess who got it? Kyler Ross. <laughs> Man, that was awesome. Tell you what, Rye burning some smoke, killing Skeeters out here with a flat right rear.
CRS Suspension and Fabrication is your trusted source for premium dirt oval shocks. For dwarf car offer adjustable spoilers and adjustable shock mounts, upgrades, car setup services, and even shocks, or you get out ran by them, call us today, 254-933-CRS1. CRS Suspension and Fabrication is your trusted source for premium dirt oval shocks. For dwarf cars to late models and everything in between, we also offer adjustable spoilers and adjustable shock mounts, upgrades, car setup services, and even professional tech support for your entire racing season. You either run CRS shocks or you get out ran by them. Call us today, 254-933-CRS1.
Lineups are up. Lineups are ready. Youth Green, make your way up for lineups, okay?
CRS Suspension and Fabrication is your trusted source for premium dirt oval shocks. For dwarf cars to late models and everything in between, we also offer adjustable spoilers and adjustable shock mounts, upgrades, car setup services, and even professional tech support for your entire racing season. You either run CRS shocks or you get out ran by them. Call us today, 254-933-CRS1. Wesley Howells will be going off from the pole outside. In the 11 is going to be Ava Montemayor. And inside row number two, our third guy is going to be Woody Powell. Here we go. Green flag. Woody quickly up to second. Your leader, though, lap number one is going to be the 10, Wesley Howells. Wesley hadn't won in a while. He's got the itch. He's He's really pushing. Woody's been winning quite a bit in this division, so here we go. We got 20 laps of uh, hard racing here for our youth green plate division. Green plate meaning that's the restrictor plate inside the car between the carburetor and the motor. Ava Montemayor, this is her first race out in this division. Don't count her out. She's going to grow and get better and better and better. But right now, I tell you what, out front, Wesley Howe's doing what it takes. Second's going to go to Woody Powell. In an awkward place to be calling the races, but uh, I was getting it done, so we keep calling them from in there, or out there, or wherever we can. Wesley hanging on to the bottom here, just trying to ride halfway, halfway. Wesley Howes, I talked to him earlier on Pit Talk on TikTok. We had a little TikTok conversation, and Wesley said, man, I'm starting on the bottom on the pole, number one. Ain't nobody got nothing for me, Jack. Actually, he was much more humble. Can elaborate and make it sound better. Oh, look out. Side. Here we go down the back straight away. So, no, not yet. Woody's going to dig on the bottom. Here they go. Oh, just a wheel. They're side by side into one and two. Woody Powell's going to 
run him up the track a little bit. What, never touched him, just let him know he was there. Woody Powell, new leader, the 4P, picking up the green plate lead. Wesley just raised his hand like, what the hell? Just saying. What do you got, 4P? He's got that baseball ride rolling. So y'all come out to L87. Look, three cars are running 20 lappers. Kids get all the laps they can get. It's all about continued growth in the sport of dirt track racing. That's what we do. Continued growth in the sport of dirt track racing. These kids here are awesome. Really, I'm telling you, all these kids are going to be next level someday. Here we go. Coming up on two to go with lap traffic in the way. Oh, they're going to go high. Here comes Wesley House on the inside. Oh, Wesley, what are you doing? you got to stay in the gas. Use it up. Wesley got a little timid right there. White flag. Woody Powell. Ava Montemayor got a lap car between first and third. Coming to the checkered. Woody Powell to 4P. Going to be your winner. Ooh, that was a good one. That's why we come here to race. Next up, the next, uh, the wild youth division. These are the greenies, or, yeah, the reddies. These are the reds. The greenies ain't too bad. The reds are wild. But you can't touch another cart. If I see touch one, we got problems. All right, on the pole, Vasily Heart of Flax in the 7 and Y outside. Bo Jackson in the 95 inside row number two. Little Sanchez, Bryce Sanchez. I tell you what, we tick-tocked him earlier. He's ready to go. This kid's good. Outside is Rahi in the 25. So we got to get these kids a little extra help lining up. So, uh. Rahi Jackson, Rahi Jackson, Rahi inside Easton Jackson. I talked to him a little bit too, Easton Jackson. And then Cole Stafford. Cole Stafford, uh, he's been fast. He's learning. It's only, I don't know, second, third, fourth race, but I tell you what, the kid can flat wheel the race cart. So uh, super excited. Here we go. All right, as we tighten the field, we're ready to go here. Heart of Flax and Jackson, both winners in this division. Green flag, here we go. Bryce Sanchez told me, I like the outside. Immediately goes behind Jackson. Here he comes, trying to pick up second. Bryson Sanchez, the second in that 63. I'm telling you, watch this kid. He is fast, but Vasily Heart of Flax, he is no stranger to L87. Made more than one feature win in that 7NY. Here we go. Heart of Flax, Sanchez, Bo Jackson in third. Oh, Easton Jackson getting a little crazy there with, with little Rahi. We got a good race for fourth right now. I'll tell you what, that 13, he's a youngster. Just a little one, so doing a great job in that 13.
All right, get them a little spread out here. For our feature here, we got, oh, Sanchez closing the gap here. Vasily Hardaflax first. Here comes Bryson Sanchez, the second in the 63. We've been talking to him. Bo Jackson in third. I tell you what, it's a good group of five to seven year olds. Some of them younger than that. Black man giving them halfway, halfway. It's time to turn up the nitrous and let's go, let's go. Sanchez goes, oh, this is where I make my move, I promise. Oh, yeah. We got a race with lap traffic. Man, this stuff's about to get real interesting. Heart of Flax, Sanchez down the back straightaway. Here we go. We got lap traffic right there. Bo Jackson. Oh, he's way over here on the back straightaway as well. So, uh, here we go. Oh, we almost get crazy there. We got a great race in the lead. Look out. Sanchez, Heart of Flax, one, two, bumper to bumper. Here we go. Cole Stafford says, I'm going to get in on this race. I might be a lap down, but by God, I'm going to win. Let's go. Oh, they get together second, and the lap car get together. Down the back straightaway, he puts himself between the leader and second place. This is stuff we never seen before. It's called youth racing. Oh, they get, look out, they get, I got problems, problems. Throw the caution, caution. I would have thrown the caution because we could have bunched the field back up. Then the leader spins out by himself and a new leader, the 63, Bryson Sanchez. Nobody knows who's doing what right now other than the score lady, Lori, inside. She knows exactly what's going on. She's telling the flag man, hey, right now that 63 is the leader. White flag for the 63, Sanchez. Second, Vasily Hardaflax. Your winner, Bryson Sanchez in the 63. Second's gonna go to Hardaflax. Third, gonna go to Bo Jackson right there on Hardaflax's rear bumper. Ooh, that was nerve wracking. A little bit of insanity there for our. Wow. Bryson. He got it. And he got it from second. I got nervous in that. Woo, Bryson Sanchez, our winner here. Tell you what, I talked to him earlier. The 63 gets it done. Hey, pick his face shield up. Let's let's see his face. Give me a number one, buddy. Give me a number one. Heck yeah. That's awesome. Bryson Sanchez, your winner. Go to tech. Heart of Flax had it, and I tell you what, I was calling for a caution because it got a little goofy here. And uh, Eddie Ross looked at me and goes, Well, why? And I went, well, Eddie, if you were racing, you would have wanted one. I would have gotten my butt chewed if you were racing, Eddie. But I get it, and it all worked out. And then Hardaflax, who had a half a track lead at that point, winds up getting so sideways out of four, it cost him the win. Tough break for him. But it all worked out. It's all good. We're coming up on our junior division. This is a tough one. The 101, a trip Whitmire outside the James Howes in the 10J. The 4P is going to be Woody Powell. And outside, Jude Algar coming on the one to go. One to go, Jude Algar starting outside second row. Man, it's a good group of tough young racers. These are all next level racers. I love it. Here we go. Whitmire Howes. House says, oh, heck no. Oh, boom. Big move by Algar there to get into third oh he tried to dart it in a second didn't make it Whitmire out front house second Algar third tell you what Whitmire has been tough as tough as they come he's won a lot of races lately in that one-on-one 
Dad's been working on it. Mom's been working on it. Cousins, grandpas. They've thrown the book at this thing, and it's working. He's flying. The 101 of Trip Whitmire. Oh, props for Woody Powers. He's in the infield. Second right now, James Howes. James, he flipped the car up at Texana. Yeah, my fault as usual. But he struggled since he flipped the cart. Man, I tell you what, you tear up those little odds and ends and you don't get it back just where you want it. James has struggled a little bit since that flip at Texana due to a lap car. And Algar, I'm not sure he's he's had a little struggles. I don't know why the kid has, you know, Jude has it figured out. Jude is a racer. He races this, he races many sprints. He's racing all kinds of stuff. You put him in it, he'll race it. He'll race He just carts not to his liking right now, tracks a little different. Each one of these kids gets better depending on track condition. Track condition makes a huge difference with these kids. Halfway, halfway for Trip Whitmire. I know I talk too much, but I'm having fun doing it. Get over it. Lap traffic for Whitmire no 101. Woody Power, youth green winner. Be impressed to get lapped here by the 101, trying his best to stay out front. Whitmire still hanging there with two to go, two to go. Whitmire getting this deal done. I tell you what, he's been on fire. The kid has just been dominant in this division as of late. Huge performance out of the 101 here. We talked to him earlier. He said, man, I'm going to keep it on all four wheels, unlike my dad who puts it on the roof. And I'm gonna have fun. We'll get him a we'll get him a TikTok victory lane here. Man, the 101 trip Whitmire. Saints Ford hot rod. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get Dad out here for a picture. And a heck yeah! Oh yeah, there he is. All right, we talked to him on TikTok, pit talk on TikTok earlier. Here we go, here we go. We got, we got upside down Whitmire with Trip, and we are in good shape here. So, uh, all right, congratulations, Trip Whitmire, your winner. I like it. Every dad says, "Go to tech." I'm going to kick you in your butt if you don't go to tech. Oh, yeah. No, there's nothing better than saying, go to tech. If you don't go to tech, we got problems. <laughs> All right, next up, predator number one on the pole is going to be the 45S. So I've been up here playing the cash game for a little bit, so probably going to lose my butt. All right, so on the pole for this one's the 45S of Cameron Starry. So he wanted to drop to the back because he wants to race to the front. And that's a $50 deal. What the hell? I got Abel Solis outside. I got Little G. I got Jake Rollins. I got King Van Blarkham, the 691. <laughs> I have no idea who I got. We gotta explore down the back straight away. This is great. 
Abel Solis in a five just driving away from him here. So Cameron Starry offered to start scratch. He didn't want anything other than I'll just say, I'm going to start scratch because I want to have fun and race to the front in that 45 going by the flag stand right there. I said, well, hell, let's make it interesting, Cameron. I'll give you $50 cash if you can bring it to the front. Let's go, let's go. So a little incentive there to start dead last and bring it to the front. He's up to six. He's up to fifth. But I tell you what, without a caution, he has no chance. You know what happens then, right? You got to spin somebody out. <laughs> Just say, maybe throw a piece of robot padding out. Bam, he picks up a couple more. He's up to fourth. Here comes little G trying to get back under him. Oh, we got a spinner. Oh, no. He pulls in the infield. He needed that spinner to stop. That ain't helping Cameron Starry at all. We're at halfway. Abel Soli still out front. Van Blarkham second. King. Kevin Hill, excuse me. Kevin Hill third. Cameron Starry fourth. He's got little G wearing a rear bumper off of it. The only one with anything to gain here, monetary, is the 45. Cameron Starry got 50 bucks to gain. My God, we'll race you for 50 bucks. We'll wreck you for 40. We'll wreck your mama for 20. Oh, here we go, third place. The 45 Cameron Star, he's just working it, never touches them. He don't even touch them, just smooth operator right there, moving it, they're like Bobby Pierce stuff right there. Here we go, and the leader catches lap traffic. It's on like Donkey Kong right now. Oh, look out, holy moly. The 71 spins out in front of the field. Woo, I, I, I freaked me out so bad, I think I farted. It was great. Oh, look out. Started to the inside of your leader. 45 is on the inside. He's a second. Oh, here comes little G. The 72 is your leader of Van Blarkham. We're seeing halfway for the second or third time. I don't know what's going on. I'm totally lost. Little G to the point. Gilbert Pettis, oh, he's going to drive it down there. Here comes Starry in second. Let's go, let's go. Oh, it's about to get real right here. Starry on the inside, little G on the outside. Oh, little tap. No, sir, here it comes. Look out. Oh, they're going to get together. Gilbert Pettis, Cameron Starry, they're side by side down in the three and four. Little G holds the spot. Little G driving that cart by Lawrence Maklicek, and I tell you what, it'll turn. It don't have all the motor, but it will turn. The 45, that's a Hostad cart. All them carts run well out of the Hostad stables. White flag right here. Save me 50 bucks, Little G. Come on, baby. I'm, come on, Cameron. Oh, no. Little G pull it away. Taking a victory right here. Gilbert Pettis. Man, it's a badass race. I don't care who you are, who you were going for. You got to just enjoy great racing, period. It doesn't matter who wins, loses, finish last, first, third. It's all fun. Great race, Little G. Great race, Cameron Starry. Woo! I ain't going to have no voice left and, and be worth a damn for uh, Texana on Saturday. But guess what? It's revved up sports show night at the races. So I got Rodney Rodriguez coming out to do the announcing along with uh, his partner, Bobby Caffey. It's going to be great stuff. So here we go. We'll do a little TikTok right here. Your winner, little G, little G. Man, what a win. That stuff was cool. The 87 picking up the win. Little G picking up the win. All right, next up, seniors. Seniors on the pole, the 26. 
Maddox Jennings in the 26. Man trying to pick up his first feature win in the senior division. This kid is on fire. He's he's man, he's been fast, crazy fast. His dad's been out hanging out with uh, Bloomquist and all these guys and and learning how to set up a cart. I guess I don't know what the hell's happening. Parker Titsman on the outside, the youngster. Moving up from the juniors to the seniors, Parker Tisman in the 87 inside row number two, Trinity Hill in the six. We talked to her on TikTok. She'll be inside row number two outside the 13P, your Texana points leader, Hunter Porter inside row number three, the 87 in, Nathan Titsman and problem sir, the young Van Blarkham lady in that 37P. We'll see what's going on right there. Woo! We had a great race in that Predator deal. I tell you what, about to see a great senior race too. Just saying. Don't forget, Race on Texas. Hey, get it. Race on Texas. If you got Roku, you can just turn it on your TV and watch this all night long and listen to my stupid stuff all night long on Roku. Okay? Roku. You can't beat it. You ain't got to log in and do crazy stuff. Here we go. Green flag right here. Maddox Jennings taking the lead. If you don't have Roku, put the rabbit ears down and go buy you a damn good TV. Just saying. Maddox Jennings in the 26, Trinity Hill. A multi-time winner. Look out, Nathan Titsman going around. He's going to keep it rolling. Oh, here comes Trinity Hill on the inside of Jennings. Jennings knows she's there now. The young lady, he, he said, oh, hell no, I'm moving down. We're going to shut that door. Jennings went from running the top to running the middle to running the bottom. Said, oh, no, you're going to pass me on the outside. That's the best thing you could do right there. Work that bottom. Make him go around you on the outside. Hunter Porter right there. Porter in that 13P. He's going to run it off the back straight away, lose a bunch of position. But Maddox Jennings still dominating this one with Hill Raw right there, man. Hill is right there. That young lady has got it figured out. Oh, man, it looks like Hill got a little more motor than Jennings down the straightaway. But Jennings, he don't bobble through the turn. That cart is smooth, just nice little turn in, goes through the turn. That boy got it figured out. Here comes Hunter Porter for a second, makes a big pass. Oh, man, Hunter Porter's going to put it in the mix. Here comes Hill back, and you know Maddox Jennings is like, hell yeah, y'all fight it out, baby, fight it out. See ya, straightaway. Straightaway advantage for the 26 coming up on halfway. Halfway for Maddox Jennings in the 26. Bam, Porter still giving Trinity Hill all she can handle right there for second and third. Maddox Jennings trying to run and hide. Looking for that first win, the 26 G. Let's go. Parker Titsman back to fourth. Nathan Titsman back to fifth. I'm telling y'all, Hunter Porter rattled Trinity Hill. Got her rattled enough that uh, right now they can't close that straightaway advantage on Maddox Jennings. And we're about to come up on two to go. Maddox just dominating this one here, folks. Jennings looking to pick up that very first senior win. Two to go, two to go. You know, right now in his head, the motor's popping, the tires are flat. Hell yeah, keep it on the floor and hope for the best. Hill says, well, I ain't catching that dude now. I better keep ahead of Porter. White flag, one lap to go. Here we go, you're winning the 26. How about Maddox Jenny? First win in the senior division, man. I tell you what, you can't beat it. That's what we want to see. New winners every week we could possibly get them is all it's about, folks. Come on, Gary. Anybody else want to take a picture? Bring your butts down here. Let's go. 
All right, pick talk on TikTok. How about Maddox Jenny for the senior win? Hell yeah. Maddox, give us a number one. He is too. Let's get it, son. Let's get it. Heck yeah. Maddox Jenny's your winner tonight in the senior division. He's going to, and dad says, go to tech, damn it. Go to tech. Cage cart, spec cage cart coming out next. On the pole should be the 15P of Andy Van Blarkham. Outside is going to be Latisha Rolando and then Rusty Ballard. Rusty Ballard bringing up the rear. I told you earlier, I, Rusty, he's a cool dude. He makes some uh, handcrafted stuff that's unbelievable. Van Blarkham with a quick jump. Latisha. And then there, Tony's over here somewhere, Leticia's husband, sitting in the stands drinking beer, I'm sure. It's okay, I don't blame him. That's what I do, too. Van Blarkham! White flag. Letitia ain't going to get it done. Ballard ain't going to get it done. How about Van Blarkham? Andy Van Blarkham picking up the win. Okay. Outlaw Embroidery going to work us a T-shirt for our winners tonight. So excited about it. Always excited to have Outlaw Embroidery here. The books, they're fabulous people. If you need a fire suit embroidered, a couple of hats, they do whatever you need them to do. And I tell you what, they do great work. They do all my personal work at uh, 
my racetracks, and I wouldn't use anybody else. I'll be honest. It's just straight up right. They do a great job. How about Andy Van Blarkham here? He won't hold up the one. All right, Andy Van Blarkham, your winner. We're trying to pick up a little extra video for TikTok. Pit Talk on TikTok. It will be out next week. It'll be fun. We're going to talk to as many people as we can every weekend. Vasily will be on there at some point. Hey, John, shouldn't you be in a cart? Just saying. It's like Predator time, right? Predator 2 on the pole, the 0-0. Zero, zero. Jimbo, eight wheels are better than four. Van Blarkham outside him. Should have been the 45. Justin Hostad, he said, I can go from the back to the front and win this deal like nothing. Bet me 50. So I bet him 50. To hell with it. Just saying. All right. Row number two, the 691, Kyler Ross. Starting row number two on the inside. Outside will be the 2K. Kyle, I got Doc two spots Van Blarkham for a ugly, ugly situation earlier. <laughs> it ain't nothing against him. It's just part of racing. The kid did fine. Unless they change drivers. Just saying. All right. Inside row three. Looks like the 27 of Justin Delgado outside is going to be Connor Ryan. The 12C inside be the 14. The one four of Joseph Matamayor. Outside him is going to be the 72H. 72H going to be driven by... Who the hell knows? I think it's supposed to be 77, but. Then the 15, John Hardiflax, the 15P. And the 77A of Noe Ayala. If none of that made sense to y'all, I get it. It don't make sense to me either. That's just how stuff works in this world. As long as all of us are on the same page of not understanding anything I tell you, then obviously we're doing the right thing. Because it isn't just me. All right, so since the 45 chose to go to the rear, he uh, allowed the 2K to move up to the outside front row. We got an all Van Blarkham front row here. Ooh -wee. Let's see if dad will use up son. Here we go. Bam, Van Blarkham, Jimbo Van Blarkham out front. The 691 to second. Kyler Ross. She ain't playing. That's a E-Mod driver. She is not playing. She has got her game on. Oh, sway sideways, girl. Let's go. 2K Kyle Van Blarkham trying the outside. Not this time. And then Connor Rye. Here comes already up to sixth place, fifth place. Justin Hostat for $50. Somebody spin his ass out. Help me out. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, doing my best. Tick knock. No, no. No, 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 no. Oh, hell no. Sorry. I don't know what happened. I looked down to pick up my soda. And I wasn't paying attention. I do know Kyler Ross was involved. He was running like second at the time.
Oh no, 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 no. My guess is the call is going to be on Kyler in the 691 because she's in the back. They're going to move Ayala ahead of her in the 77. That's going to put the 691 to the back. She must have got a little too sideways, went around. She was a little loose off, and that was not helping her. Keep an eye on her. Now we got one, two, three, four. Fourth place, Justin Hostad. Hostad said, I'm going to win it from the back. I'm going to the back, going to win it for $50. And I said, you're on. Hey, but I got the right. I could DQ his ass and not lose a dollar. Just saying. Luckily, in the first one, I had little G take care of me. Way to go, little G. Picking up the win so I didn't lose 50 bucks. We would never DQ someone for a reason like that. Don't get me wrong. Hey, how many of y'all want to see Justin Hofstad win and take my 50 bucks? Thank y'all for not cheering that. So obviously, I'm loved more than I ever thought. Hey, y'all in the second. Jamie Deer over there in three and four, showing one. We're going right here. We're going right here on Eddie Ross. Our flagman's going to go right here. Here comes Jimbo Van Blarkham, Kyle Van Blarkham. Your top two. Connor Rye. Rye from the Racing Rye family. I tell you what, them Ryes win a lot of races. They are super tough. You're not going to pass a Rye without using a little bumper. Them Ryes don't play. They win. Oh, that Connor getting down there in the infield a little bit. Justin trying to set him up. Oh, Connor right way high as Justin Hofstad moved him out of the way. Jimbo Van Blark, I'm still out front in that purple and green. Wrong way pedal, wrong way steering, jacked up cart. Oh, look out. Montemayor, his buddies getting in the way. Look, here comes Kyle Van Blarkham. Oh, they're going to slow everybody down and allow a chance with halfway, halfway. Van Blarkham running like a 2020 PRC or something, ERC, I don't know. Some kind of three letter, that cart is brand new and will flat get it done. He won a big race at Texana Raceway Park recently. Memorial Day weekend taking home some hardware and that zero zero. Man, I tell you what, if you had 50 bucks on the line, you'd have to like the fact that you got Kyle Van Blarkham, the boy between Dad and Justin. Justin going to try the high side? No, not this time. Oh, there's something on the track. We got problems on the track. It's gone now. We're all right. Somebody lost a motor mount. It's just what it looked like. They can't lose that without losing the whole damn motor. I'm just kidding. Hey, Marcus, what is it? No man blocker runs out there. That's my dad's. <laughs> he was supposed to throw that on lap 20. <laughs> just saying. Maybe not. I don't know. All right, Jimbo Van Blarkham, Kyle Van Blarkham, Justin, I'm going to win this for 50 bucks, Hofstadt. He ain't playing in third. 
And then you got another Van Blarkham. You got all kinds of Van Blarkham problems here because you got Andy Van Blarkham from the back to the front. The old pinky in a 15P, your sprint car driver up to fourth. Modified racer there in the fifth, Justin Delgado. And then you got Heart of Flax, who has won a lot of races here. The old steakhouse number 15 of John Heart of Flax up to sixth. It's a good field. This is a good group of good drivers. Let's see if they can keep it clean or wreck some crap. I'm in. Well, either way. Oh, they're going to wreck some crap. Oh, look at the 94. Holy cow, the Clayton Carter move. I think that's somebody fast. Two to go. Right now, Justin Hostad is like, what the hell? He's pissed. He wants to use that bumper. Jimbo Van Blark, I'm out front. Here we go for the win. Oh, here comes Hostad. Here we go, two turns. Use the bumper, son. Hostad. Van Blark wins. Jimbo Van Blarkum. That was way more fun getting your ass beat. I promise. Your TikTok, pit talk, one arm bandit. How about that crap? Jimbo Van Blur coming to zero, zero. Totally by accident, right? Yeah. All right. Thank you to Ken Buster Bomb for coming out and helping us out tonight. Thank you to Outlaw Embroidery for bringing some shirts to sell. Thank you to everybody to coming out tonight and enjoying themselves. We hope you all had a good time. I tell you what, we don't do this for anything other than a good time. We just want to have fun. Okay, so thank you for coming and having fun with us. Thank you for Race on Texas. Thank you for Speed Pass. Thank you to Eddie Ross for flagging this deal. Jamie Deer for working the infield along with Lawrence. Thank you for Chuck Barber. He's over there right now working the tech. Thank you for the best score we got in Texas. How about Lori Edwards? Thank you to all the folks that make it happen. Pat Maklicek for allowing it because she could just say, hell, we ain't doing this crap. Thank you very much. We're going to do some uh, driver giveaways for top three in just a little bit thank you again folks
Uh, you got a hot, couple hot laps coming out, so you kids get in the infield. Maddox Jennings, where you at? Come here, Maddox. Maddox. 